welcome to another one of my vlogs. Today you find myself and my good friend Johnny, we're at Baslow Edge, uh, right next to Kerber Edge, uh, parked a little ways down the road today because I'm cheap and I don't want to pay. And we hopefully got some good stuff ahead. Today's main thing is Heather. Uh, Baslow Edge has some amazing Heather, at least it did last year, and I want to try and capture that today. Uh, and of course, we've also got the chance of the Highland cows being there. We've got the lovely, the lovely view, the vista from Baslow Edge itself. And you know, that all depends on the weather, how good that looks, at least it does for me. It's just before sun up. So we arrived just before sunrise. Don't know if we're gonna be able to do anything with that. We'll see. And, and then it doesn't stop there. We've got the silver birch woodland right around the corner, which we're gonna delve into and hopefully find some interesting stuff there. And at the bottom of that is a, a stream river slash brook. Don't know what it is, but there's water, running water, and we might get something there. So there's, there's all to play for. Uh, and today I remembered to put a light on my GoPro so you can actually see where I'm seeing in the light. Wow, get me. Come on, let's go. Off to a good start. I'd left the, uh, left the GoPro in the car. So done the filming, threw it back in the car. Or a knob. So now I've got to walk back up the hill. Johnny's having a good old chuckle to himself. It's one, one of the cows is now attacking Johnny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cheek in your bag. <laughs> Aren't they lovely? Now he's going to eat his phone. Oh, it's going. Oh shit. This could go badly for Eddie. All right, all right, all right, yeah. You're lovely. See, these guys are all uh, getting a bit <laughs> <laughs> and the only problem I've got is if they knock the camera over. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so of course they're interested in eating my, my bag now. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's only a few hundred quid, don't worry about it. very hard and that's because I accidentally hit the time-lapse button on the GoPro and didn't notice so the next 20 minutes of footage is compressed into about 10 seconds of footage uh, and it looks absolutely ridiculous so I'm just going to show you the photograph that I took and move on and hope we can all forget about this bit Great thing about having a, a decent phone camera is that I'm walking along the edge and I see all these little shots that perhaps I wouldn't break the camera out for, the big camera, but I can still get pretty nice images uh, with the phone. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, so yeah, highly recommend bringing your phone along and just, and then if you do take a shot and you think, you know what, that deserves a bit more attention, then you could get the big guys out. This is a good example of what hopefully, if the edit is right, you, I've just been talking about. So there's a bit of a trail that runs through between the big rock there and then all this stuff on the side. And you can see the heather at the back of it as well. Um, the sky's not great. Uh, there's a few puffs of cloud, so I may, may actually wait because there's a, a string of them coming along. So maybe wait for them to just get behind it. But the, the side light's good, sun's still rising, so still good light. Um, I'm gonna take that, see how that looks. But this was from taking a shot with the iPhone, and I thought, yeah, I'll get the big guy out. So 
so we're we've done most of the edge uh, we're just heading now now to some probably chicken fasted ferns and uh, John can you put your hood up because I'm getting lens flares from your bald head thank you uh, <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna move from here. Uh, we'll go down to where the silver birch are. And the nice thing about that is we won't be relying on, or rather, if there's harsh light, it won't be such a problem. So I think I planned this out quite well. It'll be quite dark in there. There's all the uh, canopy. So yeah, um, next stop, probably, probably trees and possibly fungi. We're gonna have a bit of a, sit down at the monument before we crack on um just get a cheeky drink i haven't bought any tea or anything with me today it's just just some energy drink um yeah a tough bit comes now because you've got to go down this down this hill and it's uh, you can trip and tumble and all that sort of stuff so i doubt i'll be able to film much uh although you'll notice if you will you see the got the dji action three on a kind of shoulder thing there Hi. Go. Right. Now we can have a chat and be uh, like uh, superstars. What? You've got light. Good point. Yeah. Good oh. point. Look, that white stuff is over there. I haven't got my glasses on. Is it tanks, caravans, or yeah. massive sheep? <laughs> it's literally the world's biggest sheep. Whales constantly invade because they want them. I haven't got my glasses on, so it could be any giant shit. <laughs> Huge. It'll be the size of caravans. Is that because they are caravans? That's what the that's what the uh, cows are running away from. <laughs> the giant sheep. Those bastards. Um, so yeah, we've had a lovely morning, haven't we? Aye. Really, really nice. Uh, what time is it now? I've got my water. Uh, 7.42. 7.42. Quarter to eight nearly in some places. Some places. <laughs> and, in other uh, places, it is. Yeah, been really, really nice. We... Uh, not a great sunrise, really, you know, as far as the sky wasn't illuminated well. It was all right when we were coming in. But, yeah, once the sun lifted, it was there wasn't any clouds to catch fire. So, oh, well, uh, but the cows were great. And yes. young young cows were really good fun, <laughs> really curious. They were <laughs> trying to eat my backpack. I've got to say, have you got the drool off your backpack? <laughs> yeah, drooled all over my backpack. Uh, I had a lot of fun. We were very friendly. Mum and Dad totally chill about them being with us weren't they yeah they're, well, they're, they, they're, they're there going to take them yeah the social care might want to come and have a word with <laughs> mum and dad actually so yeah really nice and and for me though it's the next bit that i'm looking forward to because uh, yeah you know we came to shoot the heather and you can't go wrong with it really um just think about your framing i always think i'm shooting the exact same shot as i normally would except now it's full of heather and uh we, like for example do they call that like bearstone rock or Thor's Rock, Big Allen's Rock, Rock of Ages, Rock, the Rock Master, the Rock Master General, Rocky. I don't know what they call that rock. But you Rocky Maivia. Yeah, you know that big rock. So I, I rarely take a photo of that because I think it's really boring. But um, with Heather all around it, uh, I think that's going to be worth a shot. Be, I, I, the clouds are very wispy today, so we're not going to get a good sky. But again, who cares? We're going into the woods now. So, little Find streams. Bears. What? Bears. No bears here. We're not in Canada. <laughs> Maybe an irate badger. But uh, that's it. <laughs> so, yeah. Bears. Um, but, yeah, really good morning so far. I've really enjoyed it. It's been lovely. Beautiful weather. I mean, it's just right, isn't it? Yeah. Bloody flies. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, they're, a, they're a pain in the backside. They are a pain in the backside, aren't they? Yeah, especially if you're in shorts. Yeah. Luckily. We are not in shorts. Not in shorts. See you in a bit. As soon as you come into the woodland, the mood changes. You see the light shining through those trees there. Uh, it's, it seems calmer um, and more midge infested. Uh, so yeah, looking now for my usual stuff of exciting trees. Maybe, it might be some fungi around, not sure. Maybe some mushrooms, have a look. I don't think so though, probably still a bit early. Um, uh, are we going to go down to the bottom, down to the stream? We're going to do that, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to do that. We'll try anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. We're committing to that. It's not always easy. <laughs> so yeah, it's um, too overgrown. Uh, water's not wild enough. Uh, the environment 
just isn't going to do for us. I found a shot I think I can work with. Uh, there you go. Uh, the way the uh, tree is over it and the sun just catching it might work for us. Uh, longer exposure, make that look lovely there. We've got that Peak District water, so it's kind of golden brown and we can work that to our advantage. Uh, and I think the sun rising just a little bit is going to be okay because it's striking the rocks as well and hitting the moss. So I'll do that shot, but then I think we're going to have to probably move back up. Got a waffle. When he spotted a whirlpool, he's very excited. My phone restarted itself. I've come down to the bank, I want to get a little bit closer because I saw the stones with all the leaves on there uh, and I think they're a nice counterpoint to the water. Getting the frame is going to be tricksy, so I'm looking at that now, but I think it's doable and there's plenty of energy in the water here, so that's going to be good, it's going to be a good focus. So I just think this framing with the leaves on the stones is really nice. Um, yeah, I have nothing more to add. Pictures coming up now. Just gotta wait for Johnny to take a shot. He's uh, lining it up like I told him to. Uh, gotta say, the mid repellent's working well so far. I don't think I've been bitten. Keeping away, that's good. Let's see how it goes. I say that all the time, don't I? Just for the record, while well, uh, Johnny. Well, what I did, but. Well, he bimbles around <laughs> trying to take the shot. He's using uh, an old cannon. Uh, what? What model's your cannon, Johnny? Hey? What model? Um. What number? How can you not know? It's not a new one. It's a DSLR and he's going to take a fantastic shot with it, regardless of his ability. So it just shows that you can come out with a DSLR, even an older one, and still do great photography. There you go. All I was saying. All right, we just made our way up from the stream. Nearly killed us, didn't it, John? We are so unfit. <sighs> so I'm going to, we're going to walk along now. Uh, going to go to the big stone of a thousand names and uh, see if there's a shot worth taking there thanks to the heather so more heather stuff and uh i'll probably wrap up after that because i want some ice cream so yeah no, i'm not sure i mean we we're in the right place to do more but i've got a busy day ahead of me so big shout out to tag farm oh yeah yeah tag farm where i get the ice cream from tag farm uh tag lane in it tag, tag lane, lane dairy, dairy. It, not sponsored but jack at tag you i'm your to? man yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, so hopefully at least another shot to go and then I'll wrap up. See you in a bit. Hey, coming up, we were saying, well, I was saying I'd like a McDonald's, like one of them sausage and egg things. And uh, Johnny said we should get a delivery. And I said, maybe we should use Mooby. Mooby. Because <laughs> there's cows here. Mooby, John. <laughs> That is one big pile of shit. Right, we're at the, uh, the big Allen stone and uh, John's trying to climb it because he's not very bright. And uh, you can see, I wouldn't normally shoot this. I have literally no interest in just a, an interestingly shaped rock, I guess. I know even in odd weather, I don't think I'd be that excited, but with the, with the heather around it, I think we can do something. What I'm going to do is head into the heather a little bit, try and not disturb it too much, and see what I can come up with. So, away we go. Okay, let's quickly talk about heather. The wonderful thing about stuff like this is you can drop down low, get real low, and then shoot up into your subjects. Let's move around a little bit. See, 
that I, I think from here that looks pretty good up top not so much and that's because I'm letting the heather um, take up most of the interest on the way into the apparently fascinating rock behind um, so I've walked around this a few times and I've looked at it you know high right down low and I think uh, I think low is the answer so I'm going to do a couple of shots and then put the one I like up and I would absolutely love to know am I just being miserable um, that I don't I don't want to shoot something just because it's there uh, or is it is it just a bit more of the artist in me that wants to see the whole framed film the whole frame filled with interesting things because there can be nothing there you know uh, and it can be the mood that fills the frame and it's about this point that i'll probably just put wanker up at the side of the screen anyway my shots are going to come now and you can let me know knees and the you can see I've dropped the camera right down one thing you remember when you're shooting low especially in areas like this is that there's nothing in front of the lens so you're gonna get a lot of grass that's gonna be in the way if it's if it's close um, there's ways of dealing with that with depth of field and that kind of thing but I mean initially just make sure there's nothing right in front to ruin your shot anything that's a bit of a distance if it does seem to be protruding or it's too prominent Photoshop will take care of it there you go well, what a, what a morning it's been. Uh, Baslow Edge rarely fails to deliver. And you come along and the cows are out and the, look at the cloud structure up there. It's a pity it's so bright now. Could have done with that this morning. Um, but I think we've got some good shots. I, you know, I'll only find out when I get home. Uh, come out here. If you want to get some heather shots, if you want to practice it, this is a great place to start. But any of you, the local hills you've got nearby, if they're a bit wild and woolly, they should have some heather on them. Uh, thanks for coming along. If you've enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe, the normal stuff, it does go some way eventually. I think when about a million followers, I'll get a yacht and that'd be nice and I'll do some photos from a yacht. And also we've been using cameras that you might have, just DSLRs. And I think, I've seen a lot of dudes running around with like Hasselblad, <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, folks watching me are Hasselblad capable, but fair enough if you are. But in all fairness, these kind of places don't care what kind of camera you've got. They don't mind if you're using a smartphone. Come and see them. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.